guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So we are entering my favourite season of the year and that is festival season. If you follow me you will know that I love a good festival. I actually went to my first festival here in Southampton the other day which wasn't really a festival. There was one tent and it was only for one day but nonetheless I'm just so excited to see festival fashion appearing on all these websites and yeah I did a little festival haul on Pretty Little Things so I thought I would show you what I picked up. I've got this huge bag here that I have not opened yet so here we go. With these outfits I want to make sure that I'm going to be prepared if the weather isn't that great. Last year we had amazing weather for festival season but unfortunately that's not always the case. So I tried to make them so that either like my legs or my arms were covered because I get very, very, very cold very easily. So first up, oh, I'm so excited at the color of this. We have a jumpsuit, oh, hello. It is a pink jumpsuit. Oh my God, I love the color of this so much. It's a utility style jumpsuit, but it has short sleeves. Um, it's buttoned and then it comes in at the waist. I ordered two sizes in these because I wasn't sure what it would come up like. This is a size 6 one. I thought this would be really cool if you unbutton this and then put like a bralette underneath it because what you could do with this is you could always take this side down and just have it as the trousers with this like dangling down or tie it. I'm not sure if the arms are long enough to tie it. But anyway, yeah, that was my vision for this with lots of pink accessories and here we have it on so first point um there's a lot of material up here so i don't know whether it might look better if i like tucked it in or something mm, no maybe not but this is how it looks on needs an iron for sure but i think it looks pretty cool like this is going to be really nice with something on underneath next up i got this which you might not necessarily think of as a festival style but i saw someone wearing an oversized t-shirt and a blazer like chunky boots and i thought that was a really cool festival look so for this i've got a similar kind of vibe going on we have this i mean i've eyed this blazer up for so long on the pretty little thing website because it's such a nice color we got a hat pink blazer i do love my blazers so we have some buttons here and then there's a little tie thing to tie the waist you could wear nothing underneath this you could wear just i thought just this with some cycling shorts would be really cool or you could wear like a really nice bra underneath it like there are so many different options that you can do with the blazer i got this in a size eight it's supposedly a long line blazer but i'm not sure if it's long line enough to cover the bum then anything goes at a festival so what i got to go with that was this t-shirt which i got in a size medium i don't know whether i should maybe have got a large but i didn't know whether it's going to be longer you know <laughs> I found this t-shirt which I thought, I mean on the website, let me get the, oh, uh, there we go. Pretty similar colour to be fair. And we have Miss Piggy herself on the front. I just thought this was really cool. I didn't want one that was just plain and they only had a couple of pink ones but I thought this was the perfect colour. To be fair, this is quite big so we may well be able to wear this as a t-shirt dress. Okay, so the t-shirt is long enough to wear as a dress. These colours match perfectly. Imagine this with loads of jewellery and some black chunky boots. Sorted. Maybe like a gold belt or something around here as well. And then underneath I got a couple pairs of cycling shorts. I actually let me show you quickly i found these pink glittery cycling shorts which literally like leave glitter wherever you go they're from a brand called elsie and fred but these don't fit very well these are the smallest size and they don't like fit nicely like cycle shorts do and they're quite expensive so i don't think i'm going to keep these but i will try these on with that pink outfit because i think these might look cool underneath oh my goodness me these are sparkly thought i'd show you what it looks like with these pink shorts on. Not sure how I feel about this much pink, but it's a festival, so. Anyway, I picked up a few black options. I don't think I own actually any other pairs of like cycle shorts that I wear regularly. I never really got onto the trend. I think I wore one as part of a two-piece uh, last festival season. 
but I bought myself some basic ones, not sure how see-through these are gonna be, we shall see, um, yeah, just, just standard black cycle shorts, I've got these in a size 6 because I want them to be nice and tight, I think this looks cool, I don't know whether I would like tuck this in and wear it like that or just leave it loose, but yeah, these actually, well actually let's check the back, they're a little bit see-through. Don't know if you can see it on camera. And then I also got some faux leather ones to bring another texture into play. I think these will look cool by themselves with like a little crop top. But this is what they look like. Shiny black leather ones. I hope they fit well. I don't know why I got a size 8 in them. Maybe because I thought that they would be quite like hard to get into. And here we have it with the leather shorts. Which I have to say I'm glad I got an 8 in because they are very tie they're very different to the normal ones but i really like them i definitely think these ones look better even just this jacket clothes with the cycling shorts look cool but i'm not sure if it's much of a festival outfit next up thought i could put underneath that pink jumpsuit we have okay i'm not really sure how this goes this is going to be interesting definitely would wear this underneath something as like a layer but we have a sequiny pink top not gonna lie i wore one from pretty little thing last year that was like gold um cow neck kind of thing it broke so do not go out to a festival with that as your only top on this only comes in one size and look how small this is if you've got bigger boobs like what the hell are you supposed to do <laughs> oh my god you guys i can't even deal with how small this is like my boobs are falling out and my boobs aren't even big it needs to be more in the middle because they're like so close together i feel like if i moved my nipple would come out and it just looks ridiculous because it's so small like how is this one size and then we have another little top well this is kind of more of a bra that style thing I thought this would look cool underneath something. I'm so glad it's acceptable to wear bras at festivals now because I absolutely love them. But this one, it has pink sequins on it. And we've got all of this detail going on here. What size did I get that in? I got that in a size six. I'd say that's quite big for a size six, definitely. So I don't know about these together, but this bra is super cute. Sequins fits pretty well the colors i'm not really sure they go together that well i'm gonna have to have a lookout for one that is more of a similar color i'm thinking more like baby pink you know what i actually really like this bra with this outfit i've popped the leather cycling shorts on and my little jacket look like i'm going to a rave and then to work the next morning. I definitely start with a pink theme for this festival shop. I think this would look cute with those shorts. I actually bought some trousers to go with these. We have a little satin one shoulder top. I'm not gonna lie, the quality does not look great. I mean, it's cute, but it's very, very thin. Yeah, this is how it goes. Definitely gonna have to wear a bra underneath here or some nipple daisies. What size did I get that in? I got that in a size six. For some reason, pretty little things, tops always come up really big on me. Like the bodysuits and stuff, I always have to get in a size four, which is weird. And that size six, like the material just seems really, yeah, not that impressed with that. Okay, the design of this top is, like, is nice. Like when I put it on, it feels a lot better. The quality is just not not good. I've put a strapless bra on underneath. But I don't know, after dancing, if my bra is just gonna slowly start coming out and then I'll be left like this, which I guess <laughs> looks quite cool like this. Another little pink top I got was this one. A little mesh off the shoulder top. Now I'm not sure what to put underneath this. I don't know whether to put nipple daisies or like just a strapless bra. We're gonna have to see what looks good because in an ideal world, I just wear it like that and have my nips out, but I'm not sure if I'm brave enough for that yet. And it is quite see-through, but I really absolutely love the design of this. I got that in a size 8. This would be really cute with like black trousers or cycling shorts. I'll show you the black trousers I picked up in a second. Ended up putting nipple daisies on and it seems to 
doing fine very very see-through but see-through and festivals go hand in hand so it could be cool for that moving on to our last few items i oh i ventured over to the orange side for once so oh oh dear oh my god that is horrible this is like flipping gcse textiles feels really like cheap and thin material mm -mm -mm -mm. oh look at that it's got flipping string hanging down definitely not keeping this it's um i got this in a size six it's just a little bandeau top that i thought would look cute with like trousers or underneath something or whatever but clearly we are not meant to be great start isn't it can't even no can't even do it up <laughs> i don't know because i feel like all of these are going to be badly made if this one is but it just neon looks really cool so annoying i also bought to go with this a scrunchie and i may well just keep this because it looks kind of cute at least they've got their scrunchie is all stitched but i don't know why there is a label on the scrunchie obviously you're gonna have to cut that out because you're can't be able to see a flipping label sticking out with hairstyles like this. I do love a scrunchie. At least the scrunchie is cute. Definitely keeping this, but need to find a way of cutting this off without making a massive hole in the scrunchie. Maybe if I wear it like this, you just won't be able to see it. Anyway, hopefully we're ending on a not so disappointing note. I'm really upset about those satin tops. Here are the black trousers that I was telling you about. I bought these with the crop tops in mind. Oh, what has happened here? It's all like stuck together. Oh my God. So you definitely wouldn't want to wear these on a really, really hot day. But on a day when it's a bit cooler, we have some PVC trousers. These are like baggy trousers. The waist seems pretty good. Is, is it elasticated? Like, oh. Oh my god, I've just got a whiff of it. It stinks. They look really cool on the website and they come with this little buckle belt thing. But yeah, I'd want to, I don't know how you like decrease these trousers because you can't exactly iron them, can you? They got a size six. Do you look quite big for a size six? Personally, I prefer this top out of all of them with the trousers. These trousers are flipping massive, like they're supposed to be a size six and look how baggy they are. I like the concept of them, but definitely like, listen, imagine walking around and hearing that all day at the festival. And also this belt, I don't, I can't work out how to make it stay tight because it just keeps, yeah, I've probably tied it wrong, but I think these are a no unless I size down in these. Also, what is it with this stitching coming loose? Like, I literally haven't done anything to this belt and this is the end of it. So that is it for my Pretty Little Thing Festival haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. No doubt I will be doing a million other festival hauls here on my channel, so stay tuned. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you on Monday for a new Mental Health Monday video. And until then, goodbye.